Get yourself a point, buddy. What is this? What was what? <sighs> my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. <sighs> what have I gotten myself into? Baby, come on, no, it's not that bad. It's just... Get your hands off me! Get your hands! <sighs> what have I gotten myself into? Baby, it's not that bad. Myself? Why are you talking like this now? <sighs> baby, don't talk like this. Please, <sighs> baby, please. I said don't touch me! Don't touch me! Sweetheart, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're sorry? And what do you think you're sorry would do in this situation? No, tell me. Is this why you lured me to marry you? When you know that you're not man enough? Is it this tiny toothpick you will use to satisfy me? That you will use to get me pregnant? Answer me, Clems. It's not my fault. You know it's not my fault, it's nature. Hmm. If I could find a way to increase the size, I would, but I can't. Is that why you tricked me? Is that why you tricked me? So I would come and suffer sex starvation with you, right? Why are you so wicked? Why are you, why are you so mean? Why? Why are you very wicked? Why did you trick me? Why did you tell me? I think I'm sorry. Stop telling me you're sorry! Just stop it! When you know your sorry won't make any difference. Clems, I thought you loved me. I thought you did. I never knew you were playing tricks on me. You were playing tricks on me all this time. I wasn't playing tricks on you. Yes, you tricked me. You did. Because you know that you were less of a man. You know you had nothing between your legs. So you never wanted me to know that was why you tricked me into marrying you. This why you pretended to be a gentleman that didn't want sex till after marriage. So this is what it's all about. Bravo. Congratulations. You've succeeded. Please. You're very weak. You just get your hands off me. God, why? God, why? <sighs> Thank you so much, baby. You are so sweet. Mm. Come on. You don't need to thank me for performing my duties as a man. <laughs> <laughs> See, mm. as your husband, mm -hmm. it is my responsibility to make sure that I satisfy you. 
and I will make sure that I always deliver. And you really delivered. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making me feel like a woman. You're welcome. And I must confess, mm. baby, mm. you are so sweet down there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the way you easily got into the mood mm. and then everything was just moving smoothly. Phew, 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 phew. Don't make me shy right now. <laughs> well... It's my pleasure that you were satisfied. I was. And, hmm, babe, your joystick is something else. Mm. You've got a big thing down there. <laughs> <laughs> the sight of the size alone. Mm. <laughs> I couldn't help but scream my life out. Mm. Mm. You almost brought down the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the reason they call me Dixon. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you didn't know the name is related to the size? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> See, when my parents gave birth to me and mm. saw the size of what I came with, mm -hmm. they immediately named me accordingly. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Seriously, you know well. <laughs> uh, so you enjoyed it, huh? Why not? More of it to come. Mm. Mm. Can't wait. Mm. <laughs> I love. Desire. Talk to me. You know, you really surprised me last night. Mm. Mm -hmm. so I still can't believe it. Surprised you? How? You know, coming here, I thought you would be all over me. I thought you wouldn't allow me sleep. Mm. You were going to... Mm -hmm. I think I get what you're saying now. You're surprised that I didn't touch you, right? Yes. Well, it's a personal decision. I know you'll be tired. You came all the way from the village, the bad road, the stress, the exhaustion. So I said, okay, I wasn't going to touch you. I'm going to let you rest. Wow. Yeah. That's very thoughtful of you. That's really thoughtful. But I was expecting you to at least. You women and your stylish ways of asking for something. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Well, I just want you to know that I love you very much. And I have decided that I wasn't, I wouldn't touch you until after marriage. I'm going to wait for you to the end. Yeah. That's how much I care and love you. Are you serious about this? Yes. If you would like that. Of course. I'm surprised. Why? You're worth waiting for. You're such a gentle man. <laughs> I can't believe that guys like you still exist. Yes, we do. Not right here. Living, existing, and breathing in flesh and blood. In this generation. In this very generation. <laughs> mm, I love you. I love you more. Mm. I'm sorry, my lipstick. Come here. <laughs> mm. I will definitely end whatever it is that you hold notion of men and I'll wait for you to the end of the world just mm. to prove to you that I love you. Mm. <laughs> My daughter, you are welcome once more. Thank you. So, how is the city? Hmm. Mama, the city is fine, though. Just that bad food everywhere. Hmm? Mama, city and bad roads, eh? Hey, they are like five and six, so. Hey, my daughter. Hey, you should be happy. You even saw the road. Eh? Hey, what is it? Just thank God for that. So, how about the person you want to see? How is she? She? Yeah. Mama, it's not a she. I went to see a he. I went to see my fiance. 
What? What are you telling me? So you play the tricks on me? Mama. Mama, I know that if I tell you, you won't allow me to go. So that was why I had to... Okay, I'm sorry, Mama. I'm sorry. Hey! You may take me here. You should have told me. Eh? You should have told me. Hold on, Nicky Gambo. My daughter. Mm -hmm. I hope he's Clems. Mm -hmm. And not someone else. Mama. Of course, Mama, it's Clems now. Who else? <laughs> so, how is he? Um, he's fine. He asked of you. He said yeah. I should greet you. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Glory be to God Almighty. Mm. Who knows what you two did to yourselves in the night? Eh, <laughs> mm. But in them, you should be careful not to not to get pregnant out of wedlock. Okay, now what? <laughs> Mama, Anyasa. Mama. Eh? We did not do anything. Yes. Nothing. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. did not touch me. Oh. It's okay, mm -hmm. Hey! Mama, he said he would not touch me till after our marriage. My that was God. what he said. He said no sex till after marriage. See me. Hmm. So some some men are like that. Ha. Huh. Now wow. Mama, very Pre few. Very Pre few. Clement is a very gentle man. I can't wait to be a, a mother-in-law of that guy. It's so good. Mama, you can say that again. <laughs> My Clems is a gentleman. <laughs> I can see, I can <laughs> see. Yes, if so. what you are telling me is true. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> God. Why did you allow this happen to me? Why? Why did you allow me fall for this kind of trick? <laughs> Sweetheart, why are you crying? What is it? Don't you dare touch me! Why are you crying? What is this? You're a very wicked soul! You knew that you're not a man! Yet you tricked me into marrying you! You're very wicked and heartless. You're very wicked! Baby. Baby, I really didn't mean to trick you. I wasn't trying to trick you. You did! Why didn't you allow us to have sex before getting married? Because you know that if I find out the size of your manhood, you know I wouldn't get married to you. And then you pretended to, you tricked me with the no sex before marriage. Thinking that you were a gentleman, a perfect gentleman. Baby, I'm sorry. Not knowing that you tricked and deceived me. Baby, I'm sorry. You're very wicked and heartless. Baby, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. Stop telling me you're sorry. Just stop it. Will it solve anything? Will you sorry? Will it solve anything? Is it going to increase the size of your manhood? No! So why are you telling me your story? Imagine, imagine the newly married me spending the whole night under cold threat when I have a man beside me. Hmm? Indeed, you were less of a man. Ah! <sighs> I regret marrying you. I regret this marriage. <laughs> That's what you are. <laughs> <sighs> Brother. You know, women are women are funny. Very, very strange creatures. Why do you say that? I'm just yeah, I was just thinking back to when I was still asking O'Neill out, you know, when I was busy chasing her all over the place. Mm -hmm. And she was always pretending like 
Like she didn't like men, you know? My brother, that's how all women are, all of them. In fact, they like men more than we like them. You got that right. You got that absolutely right. See, uh, if you see the way my wife was performing last night, eh? Hi! <laughs> she was just busy giving it to me back to back, back to back. And she was, she was just screaming, baby, give it to me, give it to me. I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. I was just looking at her. In my mind, I was just thinking, ah, wow. Is this the same O'Neill? The same O'Neill that, that was pretending like she never wanted to have anything to do with me. Bro, it seems like we're having the exact same experience. Seriously? Last night, you just seemed the way my wife was moaning and screaming. I thought she was going to give up the ghost. <laughs> because I didn't give her any breathing space, man. I was just going, going, Clem going. Clem, man. Bruh. <laughs> Clem, man. Bruh. I trust you. You got to trust me. I trust you. Man, I really had a great time. I enjoyed my wife. I enjoyed my wife so much. Ah, man. She was just singing my praise after that. Singing my praise about what my bola can do. What my bola can do. I was like... <laughs> oh, my wife is so sweet. I thought she had honey inside there. So sweet. Brother, the thing is that I refused to go soft. I was hard. I was just firing. They go all night. Firing. They go all night. Firing. They go. In fact, this morning she came up to me. I was singing my praises. How she... She was seeing both the living and the dead at the same time. Hey. Yeah, I walk. <laughs> I walk for my title as husband. Clever man. Mm. I trust you. Every small thing. I trust <laughs> you. <laughs> Cheers to a night well enjoyed. Nice one, bro. Nice one. Ah, this life. Ah. Ah. See, the thing I've noticed about life is. When you, when you are loaded, when you have money, eh, and you can perform mm. very well in the inner chamber, mm. women will worship you. <laughs> Those are the two most important things in this life to keep a family. Mm. Once you have them, you've won already. Seriously, my guy, eh, my wife was just, she was just treating me like like I'm the president of this country. She woke me up with sweet words this morning and then she went to the, into the kitchen and prepared my favorite meal for me. That's how it's supposed to be. I was just looking at it, the whole situation. I'm like, ah. you know, I don't understand why we're both having the same exact experience. It's like, is it because we're best friends? That's how my wife came up this morning was singing this melodious music, singing my praises, singing, singing. She sang to the point that it got me hard again. Mm -hmm. That woman. Interesting. <laughs> Are you okay, bro? Yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm perfect. Hey, Batman. Please, bring extra bottles for us. I'm not even done with this yet. I know. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. This is not what I bargained for. This is far from my expectations. God, why did you allow me to end up with a man that is better not created? Clement has ruined my life. He has ruined my life at a very young age. I still can't believe it. I still can't believe what's going on. I thought he was being gentle. I thought he was being a gentleman when he said he never wanted sex after marriage. I never knew he was trying to tie me down. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense. No wonder whenever I want to touch him, he... Baby. Mm. Mm. 
Baby, stop. Babe, what's wrong? I'm just... Have you forgotten? We discussed no sex before marriage. I know, but... It doesn't, doesn't mean I, I can't even touch you. It's just a tender romance. It's arousing all kinds of feelings inside of me. Okay? And I don't want to go against my decision. Just wait for a little while. Very soon we're going to get married. And then we can enjoy as much as we want. Please, baby. It's alright, if you say so. But, I want to ask, do you like sex? <laughs> do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy it? Listen, any man that doesn't enjoy sex or like sex is seriously sick. Of course I enjoy sex. I love it. You it's, do? It's, listen, it brings out the real man in me. That's great. Because I love sex. And I enjoy it more when my man is heating it really hard. Really? Very soon we're going to get married and I'm going to show you the real man. I'm going to hit it so hard. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I also like it when my woman knows how to change position without me telling her. Mm. You, you already have the engine. <laughs> you have the right engine and backside, so... Mm -hmm. I know you're going to do well. Mm, babe, I can't wait. I can't wait. Ah, but you shall. You carry engine, no? <laughs> you're the full package. Stop. You're the full package, baby. Mm, can't, can't mm. wait. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to have you. I can't you. wait myself. <laughs> I was fooled. I was fooled. I was fooled by his words. I was fooled by about the way he talks about sex. As if he's the best in the game. As if he's the best in the business. I was fooled. He fooled me. I was fooled by his words. I was fooled. I was fooled about the way he talks about sex. I thought he was the best in the game. I thought he was the best in the business. I was fooled. I shouldn't have accepted this. No sex before marriage. I shouldn't have accepted it. At least I should have tested the man that I wanted to marry. I should have at least tested him before I agreed to marry him in the first place. <laughs> Clement has screwed me. He has destroyed my life. <laughs> he has screwed me. I just wish all these things happening are in a dream. I really wish, I wish I was dreaming. I wish I could just wake up and realize that it's all a dream. <laughs> How can I be telling them like this? I just wish, I wish, I wish. I wish it's all a dream. I wish, I wish it's all a dream. I wish, I wish it's all a dream. I wish it's all in my head. I wish it's all Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> ah, you're welcome to my house once again. Thank you so much. So tell me, how's your husband? <sighs> he is very fine. Like, mm. very, very fine. Hey, <laughs> is the very, very for me. <laughs> so you're excited. Girl, what's going on now? Tell me, what's going on? Well, <clears throat> my husband mm -hmm. is just exceptional, I must confess. He's the best husband any woman can ever wish to have. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, hmm. that means your husband must have done something very special. <laughs> Yes, now for you to see his phrases like this. <laughs> okay, seriously, he did. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
when I first met him, mm -hmm. I was seeing him as one weak creature or something. You know, he has this soft, calm and collected look. <sighs> I never knew this man is very strong in the inner chamber. Um, <laughs> wait. Inner chamber. Mm -hmm. You mean inner... Mm -hmm. Oh! So it's the inner chamber duty that's making you praise your husband like this? Of course! Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Before we got married, I was already planning on how to get a sex toy if he can't satisfy me. But babe, he proved me wrong. He has shown me that he can do what five sex toys can't do. Gosh! <sighs> I'm happy, I'm happy for you. <laughs> well, you see my husband. <laughs> my husband is the lot of the ring. Odogu number one. Wow. Hey! If you see where my husband handles me, Girl, my husband takes me to cloud nine and back. Come on. Hey. <laughs> my husband is just fire. Come on. He's the best. <laughs> Girl, it's just very good. It's very good to have a good man. Oh. A good man that can take care of your garden, if you know what I mean. I know, right? <laughs> you said your husband is 100%. Uh, mm -hmm. My own is 200% Master of the game. Came on! 200 percent Master of the game. Came on! Girl. I've told you what I want to eat, okay? And that's it. Oh, babe. You know, there's nothing I can do about that right now. It's already late. Before I can go to the market and come back, everywhere will be dark. Babe, I want to eat a goosey soup and semo tonight. It's that simple. What are you arguing about? Babe, come on. We have bitter leaf soup in the fridge. You can just manage it for tonight and tomorrow I'll make your goosey soup. Please. So you're going to force me to eat what I don't feel like eating just because you are too lazy to go to the market and cook for me. Let me come back to this house and you have not prepared what I want to eat. Then you know that I married you with my own money. Wait. Is this the kind of man I married? Exhausting, but I thank God. Mm, I can see. Yeah. You look stressed. I am. So why don't you go up and freshen up while you come down for dinner? All right, baby. All right. Let I'll me be say back down. Too. All right, baby. I'll be back down soon. All right, honey.
うん、うん Beautiful is delicious. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad hearing you say that.、Mm. You like it?、Mm? Like? That's an understatement. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. You know, hearing that from you makes me feel like. The best cook in the world. You say that again. You're the absolute best, baby.、Mm. Thank you. Please be careful because I don't want that food to choke you. <laughs> Better choke me out because I'll go to heaven straight. <laughs> Take it off, just mm. Mm, have some.、Mm. <laughs> you don't know how to feed someone, don't you know? What do you mean? Hmm. <laughs> So tell me, I'm so in awe of why you are so excited and happy. Tell me, what's, what's the secret? Yes, I'm happy. Tell me why you're so excited. Because I've waited so long, so long for God to bless me with a man that I can call my own. A man that would depend on my cooking for his feeding.、Hmm. And look, God blessed me with you. And here, God blessed me with one already. <laughs> What's wrong? Just thinking. Did I say something wrong? I don't know why God allowed me. To be cheated like this by nature. Babe, babe, we need to stop this. Okay? You need to stop. I know you're talking about the size of your manhood, but I've come to realize that we can't change what we can't change. And we need to allow fate to take its place. Honey, you didn't create yourself. God did. And if we can look at everything in Genesis chapter 1, verse 31, and say s that everything He created is good, then trust me, He made no mistakes. All right?、Mm. Thank you, baby. Your words make me feel a little better, but still. I'm bothered about you. You know, I, I feel like you need to experience. Just stop it, stop. Stop it. We're together in this. We're going to fight our challenges together and enjoy our victory together. I mean, our sex life is, is really private, and no one outside. Will ever hear from me that you are less of a man down there. No one. Because all I've always wanted from you is love and care, and that which you've always shown me. Thank you. Thank you so much for accepting me. Look. Just the way I am. Thank you. It's enough, it's enough, it's enough. Before you start thanking me from now till tomorrow, <laughs> because I know you. <laughs> I love you more and more every day. And I can't believe you're saying that. <laughs> it's okay. So, this is C finish now. You know me in and out, have you? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But I know、okay. you, I'm your wife, so I、oh, should it's know it's you. Okay, well, it's okay, but I can hide my woman, Sha. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Right. I don't get tired of hearing it. I hope you don't.
You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, big. What kept you out so long? It's almost 11.30 and you're just coming back. Wait. What's the meaning of that? Are you asking me what I was doing out? Not that. But you were out so late. You overstayed out. Listen, woman. I'm a grown man. And this is my house. I can decide when I want to go out and when I want to come in. And you have no right to tell me that I am coming home late. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. Just that you kept me waiting. I was really bothered about your whereabouts. And you weren't taking my calls. Perhaps I wasn't taking your calls because you were bugging me with your calls. Do you have to call me incessantly just because I'm coming home late? Please, next time you feel like I've stayed out late and you need to go to bed, go ahead and sleep. Okay, whenever I come back, I'll let myself in. Okay, please, don't be bugging me with calls like that. I don't like it. something you're hiding from me. Yes, I'm scared. Because I don't know how you would react. I heard sex toys can help ease my sex starvation. I was hoping I could get one to help myself. But that's if you allow me. It's okay. You can go ahead and try it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hey. Thank okay. you. Tomorrow I'll give you my ATM. You can purchase it. And also buy other things we need in the house. I mean, as long as it can satisfy you. Then Thank go ahead and do it. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. I'm glad you understand. You know, you're so easygoing, so understanding, hmm. so nice. Anything to make you happy. <laughs> Thank you. I love you so much. I love you too. Babe, seriously, you're leaving for work without dropping the money I asked for? My goodness, why won't you just let me have some peace in this house? Seriously, I'm getting tired of your incessant demands already. They're becoming too much. My incessant demands. Is that what you call it? Am I asking you for money to buy clothes, hair, shoes, or makeup? I'm only asking you for money to buy food stuff that we need in this house. And you're saying I'm demanding too much. Let's just manage whatever we have in the house right now, okay? Stop disturbing my life. I'm not the only married man in this city. I am disturbing you. So asking you to provide food for this house is a disturbance. But you will go out there and have, and have a lot of drinks, spend a lot with your friends. Anyway, have a good day.
This is so huge. This is what I need right now. But Alicia. How can you enjoy sex with something you can't even kiss or make any romantic move with? I can't imagine myself doing this. How do I go about this? We use this. Please have a seat. Thank you. So, what do I offer you? It's all right. Thank you. You don't look right. What's the problem? I don't know if I should say that I am going through a lot or that a lot is going through me. Things are just choking me presently. I don't understand. Can you tell me the things choking you? My marriage? My husband wants me to develop high BP at this young age. Your husband. Oh no, the last time you were here, you were singing praises about your husband. How he is the best man any woman can pray for. So how come he's the one choking you? I praised him, yeah. But that was just because of his prowess and the art of handling a woman sexually. In real sense. I mean, apart from sex, my husband is a beast. There is nothing that man has not done to me yet apart from beating me. It's really a pity. I wish I could help you in this situation, but I obviously can't. Look, I'll advise you to just go home, take a chill pill and try and see how you can make your home a peaceful place for you and Dixon. Look, every couple Every couple has an individual body. That's what makes marriage last. So you both should find your differences and flow. I and my husband, we have our individual burden and that's why this marriage is still alive. Hmm. So just try and fix this with Dixon. All right? Babe, why is your face like that? 
Why won't my face be like this? Hmm? Why won't my face be like this when you prepare this, this bland, tasteless food? You're insulting my food. I took so much time to get this ready and all you can do is insult it. The amount of time and energy you put into cooking the food is pointless if at the end of the day the result is nothing to speak of. I'm telling you that your food tastes, is tasteless. Instead of you to pay attention and take corrections, you are busy uh, uh, looking at it as an insult. So what do you expect me to do? Uh, you are telling me basically that I should just keep quiet and eat it however it is and not complain now. Babe, can we just stop all these talks and eat in peace? What was I doing before you interrupted me with that silly question about how my face, uh, why my face is like, like that? Was I not eating? It's not like I have any other option. Is there anything else I can eat? What are you even useful for? You can't cook properly. All you do is eat and sleep. You're asking me why is my face like this? You that you're eating the food, are, are, are you enjoying it? Can you taste any salt in this food? Can you taste any pepper in it? allow me to sleep. Sleep? Did I marry you to come and be sleeping in my house? God. I want my woman. Eh? Babe, 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 I want you. I'm so tired right now. Come on. I'm not even in the mood to do anything. I'll put you in the mood. Don't worry. Babe, okay, okay just, just let me sleep, okay? Maybe late into the night so I can regain my strength. Regain which strength? You're talking as if you went to the farm. <laughs> I want you now, not later. Wait, please, I need to sleep. Please. Babe, I said I want you now. Babe, babe stop. Babe, stop. Oh, good. Babe, no, stop. No, babe, stop. Stop, babe. Stop, babe. Oh. Baby, you, you mean to tell me that you didn't buy this toy anymore. I got it. Babe, it's, it's not my kind of stuff. I tried using it, but no way. I, 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 I didn't like it. I don't understand you. First of all, you said you wanted this. You needed this to help to satisfy yourself. Now you're telling me you don't want it anymore. You don't <sighs> like it anymore. What's the problem? Sweetheart, I'm sorry. Yes, I know I told you that I needed this. But... Look, I didn't, I didn't like it. During sex, I want my man to be all over me. Not me trying to penetrate myself with some artificial stuff. I don't want that. Look, I, I already gave up on that. Okay? So what do we do now? Very fresh and healthy. I know. That's my daughter. <laughs> Mama, you also look very beautiful. Okay. And you're looking really young as well. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. You are welcome. <laughs> Thank ah. you. Ah, you come alone. Oh. 
Why didn't you come with your husband? Um, Mama, my hmm? husband wanted to come. But he had a lot of things to do. But he sent his regards, hmm? But I hope all is well. Mama, all is well. Sure? Yes! <laughs> Talking about my husband. <clears throat> now, let's talk about food. I want to eat those your local dishes, oh, Mama. I hope you've already prepared some. This girl, you will never change. Hmm. I have every everything inside this mm. one. All the dishes that you need. Ah, but yeah. First, Ophel, huh? everything. Eh, bitter leaf oh, soup. Wow. Everything. I'm going to get that. Eh. First everything of all, is go inside. inside, go and rest. <laughs> Let me just go to the kitchen and prepare everything Chai. for you. Name. Trust me now. Name. I was name. Name. Ah! You know you need to be pissed. Let us do it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to carry this one. Alright, oh, carry this one. Mm, let me carry this one, Mama. Oh, yeah, I let's go. How do I can carry this? I one. know, but I carry that one first. Come with me, guys. Mama. Hey, Baba, Baba. Hello, good to see you. Hey, hey, we have a lot to talk about. Hey, I tell you, what we got to do. Hey, baby. Yeah, hi. How are you doing? I just finished with the sales director I told you about. How was your trip? That's good. And how's your mom? Wow, she misses me that much. All right, tell her I'm going to come see her very soon. Very, very soon. Yeah. Make sure you take care of yourself, OK? All right, babe, I, I need to get going. I have a lot to do today. All right, sure. I love you. Bye. My baby's so excited. Hmm. Huh? You're welcome. Thanks, baby. <laughs> what kind of lottery did you win that's making you <laughs> sing all these praises and, you know, acting so excited? What's going on? Babe, I got something more than lottery. Really? God has really shown us that he is truly our God. See for yourself the reason behind my excitement. <laughs> this has to be good. <laughs> okay. What is making my baby so happy? Let's see. This is a pregnancy test? Yes. Oh my goodness. You're pregnant? Yes, baby! Wow! <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> Finally! Oh my goodness! Mm. Oh, this is so good. We're gonna have a baby. Yes, baby. <laughs> wow! Um, baby, please. Hi, what's your boy? Where is this girl? Chinanya! Yes, mommy, he called me. Please go inside. Get my phone. I want to call your brother. Here. Yeah. Mama, this one you want to call brother. Hope everything is fine. Yeah, everything is fine now. Yeah, I just want to call him and know how they are doing. You know, it has been a long time I called them last. Um. Yeah. Mama, the thing is that um, I used your airtime to call Auntie Ah. Chinenye. Ma. What is wrong with you? Yeah? Every time you're using my airtime. You better not do again. Don't worry, go and bring my phone. I'll call, I'll just flash him. He will call me back. Because okay, I know Mama. he will call. Uh, 
Okay. They don't use my air time next time, Mo. Hey. Hello? Mama, the mama, the mama. <laughs> mama, how are you doing? Namo, I'm fine. Hey. I'm doing very well. How are you? And how is your wife? I hope she's doing very well too. Mama, I am fine and my wife is very fine as well. As a matter of fact, I have good news. Eh? My wife is pregnant. Hey! Seriously? Hey! 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 Give her phone, let me talk to her. Oh? Hey! Uh, Mama, she's sleeping right now. When she wakes up, we'll call you back. I just stepped out to tell you the good news. <laughs> yes, Mama, we thank God. We thank God for everything. It's a miracle. Yes, yes, I'm happy. Okay, Mama, I'll talk to you later. Nim, I hope your husband is taking good care of you. Mama, take a look at me. From looking at me, you can tell that my husband is working hard to take proper care of me. Thank God for that. Yes. I have seen it. Mama, he's trying. Just that there's a problem. Problem? What is it? Mama, you know when my husband and I were dating? We never had carnal knowledge of each other. I just realized that my husband is not man enough to satisfy me. He's not. And he bothers me a lot. Hey! This is serious. Are you sure of what you are saying? Hey! He ain't got a problem. But does it stand at all? Yes, Mama. It does. It stands. But Mama, when it stands, it, it's very small. I mean, extremely small. Hey! It can't satisfy me. Look, Mama, you won't believe that since we got married, we've never had a satisfactory time together. Never. Nemo, I doubt you can cope with this marriage. What are you insinuating? Nemo, uh -huh. you are too young to pass through all this. Yes. It is better you quit this marriage before it is too late. Anna, what are you doing? I have said my own. What happened? Did you hurt yourself? What's going on? What's this? Is this blood? What happened? The baby. 
What happened to the baby? The baby is gone. The baby is gone. What? What do you mean the baby is gone? Are you sure? Would this happen just when I was beginning to enjoy the feeling of of being a father Your brother. Okay. Uh, hello? Hey, Odogun, um, how are you? Uh, how is your wife? Eh? That you are not fine. Okay, what is the problem? Hey, Chime Gomo. Mama, what is it? Miscarriage. When? Mama, what is it? Hey! Uh, 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 it's your sister's voice you're hearing. Hi. Hey. It's your wife. There. Uh, just give her phone. Oh, let me talk with her. Hi. Hey. Uh, she's sleeping. Okay, no problem. When she wakes up, tell her that I want to speak with her. Oh. Hi. Nah. Hi. Eh? Oh, no. Bye bye. Oh. What is it now? What is it? What is the problem? It's your brother. Oh. What happened? He said the wife lost the pregnancy to a miscarriage. Hi. 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 Oh my God. Bad luck. God will definitely give them the child that will stay with them. Amen. Oh. Amen. Amen. Hey. Hey. My daughter, I am surprised you are yet to tell me what your mind is about what we talked about. Am I here about the suggestion to divorce my husband? Yes, you have been quiet about it all this while. Mama, the truth is that I'm confused. I don't know which way to follow. Mama, Clement is a gentle, loving and caring guy. Just that he's not man enough down there. Okay, if I divorce him, what if I end up in the hands of a beast in the name of a husband? Hmm. So what happens then? God forbid, I'll watch from your brother, my daughter. Don't wish yourself something negative like that. Mm. My dear, Clement is not an option for your life. Mama, I've heard everything you've said. Hmm? But I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided. My daughter, there is nothing to decide. Tell him you want move on with your life once you return to the city mm. or do you want to live and die without a child okay mama mama mm. 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 seriously bro. i'm feeling very sad almost depressed Hey, 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 don't say that. No matter what the problem is, there's always a solution. 
What is it? I don't think there's a solution to this one. Man. My... Bro, my wife told me some time ago that she was pregnant. As a matter of fact, I even saw the test results that confirmed she was pregnant. Come on, man. Why are you so upset about that? That's a great news. Congratulations. What? She had a miscarriage. We lost the baby. You know, it's the same thing that happened to my wife also. She was pregnant and then she lost it. She had a miscarriage. That's why she went to her mother's place in the village to spend some time and learn how to avoid miscarriage. Seriously? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Dude, what's going on? What's the reason for all these miscarriages lately? It's becoming very rampant. I don't know, man. I don't know. But the thing is, at least now you know you're not the only person going through this. You're not alone. So cheer up. Enjoy a little. Have a drink. There's going to be many more babies to come and they will stay. That's my only faith and motivation. So cheers. To many more babies, bro. To many more babies. sometimes I pleaded with you not to go out because I was feeling so dizzy and I needed you around but you didn't listen to me look O'Neill right now is really not a great time to bring up this conversation as you can see I'm just here trying to relax I don't have the energy for your disturbance right now. Besides, why would you even expect me to, to stay back home with you just because of some dizzy spells? That's rather an unreasonable thing to request. Huh? What, what am, am I the cause of your dizziness? Or am I even the cure for your dizziness? I know you're not. But sometimes, show some care. I'm a human being, your wife. I deserve some care from you. <laughs> That's what? What? So what? You, you want me to, to become a babysitter to you just because you're, f you're feeling dizzy? You want me to abandon everything I'm supposed to do and stay with you 24 hours a day so that you can feel cared for, huh? Is, does that sound reasonable to you? Look, please, if you want to be useful to me right now, get me something cold to drink, please. That's all you have to say. You have no human sympathy at all. Are you going to get me what I requested for, or do I have to go and get it myself? Can't believe you're making such a big deal out of this thing. Huh? Dizziness. I should abandon everything I'm supposed to do uh, for the day so that I can sit at home and babysit you because you're feeling dizzy. Yeah, the 
last person I expected to see. Mm -hmm. I know you'll be surprised to see me. You know, I thought it was Dixon or the laundry guy. <laughs> For some reason, I never thought I would see you. I'm glad to see you here again. Thank you. Don't tell me it's because you missed me. That's why you're here earlier than usual. <laughs> of course I missed you. And that's one of the reasons I came back. And my mom. My mom was trying to put me on a path that I didn't understand. <clears throat> what path? And you don't need to bother yourself about that. I will tell you everything later. But right now, I need to relax because it was a long and tiring journey. You know what, why don't you go upstairs, get some rest, take a shower, and I'll go inside the kitchen and see what I can prepare for both of us to eat. Okay, sir. Right. Mm. It's really good to see you again. Good to see you too. And hurry up, okay, because I'm hungry. I will. Madam, take it easy. Uh -uh. Easy now. I I'm hungry, madam. It's not going to run away. Hmm. Babe. Take it easy. You won't understand. I don't know how hungry I am. Hmm. The nature of the road is really bad. Too much gallop, everything. I had to trouble. Mm -hmm. And I lost everything that I ate before coming out. Uh, sorry, yeah? Hmm. Sorry. But uh, still take it easy. The food is not going to run away. <laughs> There's plenty to eat. If this food runs eh? I will turn to Uzumbot and pursue it. Let's run into But, hmm, this food is really delicious. Really, really delicious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know your stylish way of trying to tell me the food is not delicious. It's okay. Mm. Or you just want me to pet you. <laughs> but frankly speaking, my man is a husband material, 100% and more. Mm. Yes. Okay. Hmm. okay. I feel very happy that God blessed me with such a kind man. Mm. Because not everyone would cook for their wife. Mm. But look at you. I have a king who can break limits just to make me happy. Wow. Am I not blessed? <laughs> All this for me? Mm hmm Since when did you become a hype woman? Hmm? Baby, I'm not hyping you. No, it's okay. I like it. My head is growing. My neck is getting longer. <laughs> mm -hmm. By the way, how is mom doing? Hmm. Until it's fine, no. That woman wanted to finish me with food. Mm. She kept feeding and feeding me. Mm. Mm. I miss her local dishes so much. The next time I have a break from the office, I'm going straight to go and see her. I'm going to eat. Hmm. Now you go around though. Me, never. I can because never be tired. Because my mom will finish you with food. Me. The best of food. I can never be tired. You can never be tired. Never. Oh yeah, now we'll see. We'll see. You will run and go back to this house. Hmm. You'll see. <laughs> I might go and buy a house there soon. Mm. Mm. And leave me here, ba. Yeah, so mm? you can enjoy the food now. <laughs> Mama? Mama, why are you still here? Won't you come inside and sleep? Mama. Mama, you are beginning to get me worried though, seriously. Why have you been like this since? Mama, why is my life like this? All my fellow women have been traveling to the city for Mugwa and coming back. But my own, anytime my son's wife gets pregnant, the next thing you will hear is that she had miscarriage. What did I do to deserve all this? What? 
Mama, I know it's painful. Hmm? But you shouldn't let it bother you that much. Brother is still very young and so is the wife. Mom, I believe they will have lots of children. The same way I have been believing and hoping that they will have children. Who did I offend? What have I done that they don't want me to carry my grandchildren? Mama, it's okay. Mama, calm down. Hmm? You will soon carry your grandchildren. Mama, you soon go for a move. When is this soon going to come? When? Mama, very soon. Mama, please, let's just go inside and sleep. Hmm? Mama, let's go and sleep. <sighs> very soon. Mama, very soon. Very soon. Mama, let's go and sleep. It's already late. It's a bad deal. Oh. Babe, 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 are you not done yet? Do you know I can't sleep alone? I'm almost done, baby. Just a few more minutes. I'm trying to wrap up this document. You know what? Maybe you're right. I'll finish up in the morning. I'm tired anyways. That's why I left my mom, so I can come stay where I will be loved. Mm -hmm. Morning, afternoon, and night. Mm -hmm. You know you're not serious, huh? Mm. You're not serious, my friend. Go and sleep. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. Mm -hmm. You mentioned something about your mom not giving you breathing space, or was it... She was leading you down a path you didn't like. What was that about? Yes. She was leading me to a path I don't want. But it's all my fault. And I owe you an apology for that. When I got to the village, I told my mom about our marriage. I told her how well you take good care of me. I also told her that you're less of a man down there and that you don't satisfy me sexually. Honey, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I mentioned it to my mom. I know I promised you that it's going to be a secret between us. I... I think when it came out of my mouth, I'm sorry. Please. It's okay. You telling your mom things about us and our marriage is... She's your mother after all. She's part of the family. So it's okay. Besides, she may have a solution to one or two of our challenges. Her solution is rather misleading. Imagine my mom telling me that that I have to divorce you. But I refused. Because of her constantly telling me to leave the marriage, that's one of the reasons I came back early.
One thing you must always remember, your mother means well. She loves you very much. That she's asking you to divorce me is only because she wants to see you happy. <laughs> so it's okay, don't, don't take it personal. I know, okay? But I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving you. If there's one thing you made me understand, is that sex is not the only way to keep a marriage strong and going. Hmm? Look, I know that we can find a solution to this. I know there must be a way out. I love you. And I need no prophecy to let me know that you love me too. And that is the basis of a good marriage. I want you to forgive me. Forgive me for telling my mom about your weakness. I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Okay. I need you to forgive me. I'm sorry. some signs of pregnancy. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Thank God. I'm so happy. I pray that this would be the one that will wipe away our tears for all the ones that we've lost. That's my prayer too. I seriously can't go through the pain of miscarriage again. It's depressing. Let's try to stay positive. I believe this one will stay. Okay? But you also have to make sure that you take care of yourself and the baby. And don't put yourself through any kind of stress that could trigger another miscarriage. Babe, hmm? you too, you have to help me through this journey. Sometimes it's, it's the way you talk to me and treat me that gets me really stressed out. I hear you. I'll try to be more gentle, okay? But you don't keep doing things to get on my nerves. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is great. Thinking about what? About you. About us. What is it this time? What? What's wrong? Every time I see you, I see your hot, young blood.
craving for a man that can make her feel like a woman again. And I know you're sacrificing all of that just because you love me. I know. But it's necessary. Babe. You need it. I know you need it. Hey. Must we talk about this all the time? Yes. I know I need it. But since I can't have it, am I going to kill myself? Well, I've decided to let fate take its place. It doesn't have to be like that. I know you have desires, urges for sexual fantasies, and I know you want it. And that's why I have come up with a plan to find you a man that will satisfy you. Nobody needs to know. It's just between us. No. I said no, I do not want it. I think I can hear some noises. From outside. Come, let's go see what it is. After dealing with that useless boy, he will learn his lessons today. Exactly. Madam, what's no. the problem? What's the problem? Please open this gate. I don't have any problem with you. Open the gate for me, please. Ah. Calm down now. Open this, the gate. Is this your... Calm down. What's the problem? Open the gate for me. I want to see your... Uh, your... Uh, please. here to see. I'm here to see your husband. This rapist that wanted to rape my daughter. What? You said I wanted to do what to your... Stop, stop. Your, ah. your who? Woman! Are you not the one I came to collect clothes from? And, and you started touching me. You even tried... Yeah. Wait, wait. Wait. So this is what you do? Anytime I travel, you, all you do is to bring small girls to this house and play with them? That's a lie. I swear I never even thought about doing such a thing to this girl. Talk more of touching her. You did. See, I've come to warn you. The next time you try this, government will hear us. I don't have money, but I have people that control money. Exactly. And, madam, please, we are sorry. He, he's sorry. Forgive him, please. Eh? I'm sure it, it won't repeat itself again. Please, ma. Better. Never this. Repeat, repeat itself again. Or you will see the real woman in me. Nonsense! Repeat. Wait now, let me open the gate. Please open the gate! Hey. Don't, don't spoil the gate. Sorry, come, come, let's go upstairs so you can get yourself cleaned up. Please stop crying. Don't tell me to stop crying. I want to pass my sorrows through tears so God can come to my rescue. Who did I offend? Who did I offend? It's okay. It's okay. Please stop it. Stop crying. Please. I don't know how painful it is to lose all my pregnancies since we got married. You don't know. Baby, I'm equally pained by this. 
I am equally pained. It's very disappointing, I know. But you can't just sit here and cry. Come, let me take you upstairs and get you cleaned up. Please. <laughs> Baby, 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 please. Please, I swear, I swear to you. I swear I had no intentions of touching that girl sexually. It's all lies. Why are you swearing with your life? <laughs> Let's sit down and relax, Joe. Mm -hmm. Sit. <laughs> Look, I know the man that I married. And I know that you will never make an attempt to rape anyone. So relax. Thank you. Thank you so much, babe. Thank you for believing in me. That woman is just a terrible person. I don't know why she wants to accuse me falsely and just dent my image. <laughs> Look, the moment she mentioned rape, I knew she didn't know what she was saying. Because, I mean, you don't even have what it takes to rape anyone. I was just angry out there so the woman would feel like I'm supporting her. Not like I believe what she's saying. <laughs> you, rape a girl. <laughs> That's very funny. Hmm. Yeah, humans are strange indeed. Very strange. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I need to find you a man who... Babe. Babe. Hold on. Hold on. I don't need another man. Why do you think I need another man? Baby. And I will never tell you that. I mean, I can't imagine myself with another man except you. Baby, you need it. I don't. Okay? I don't need it. And don't tell me you have the intention of bringing your friend, Dixon, to come sleep with me. No. No, not at all. I wasn't even thinking about him. So who do you want to bring then? <sighs> hmm? to grant us our desires. But he hears all our prayers. Hmm? Why is my own Mama, different? Mama, everything is going to be fine. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm busy now. Hey! I'm not busy now. Mama, it's okay now. Oh, why can you hear me? Mama, I'm going to cry. Mama, I'm crying. It's okay. Hmm? No problem. God will give her a chance. Hmm?
told you it would be nice. Oh, yes. This is really nice. Yes. Oh, um, I was hoping if I want more pictures. Let's do something else here. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just bring your hands closer. Mm -hmm. bring closer. Can you go down to take it from the lower? Okay. Yeah. My legs show very well. Mm -hmm. <sighs> they are really nice. Oh yes, perfect. You got this one. <laughs> so, madam. Yes. Um, I think I have to be on my way now. It's getting really late. What do you mean you have to be on your way? I don't I don't understand. No. Do you know there are photographers out there looking for jobs? And now you have one and you're telling me you want to start going. It's getting late. Um, it's just that I don't want to maybe get relayed on my way. They steal my equipment or whatever. Well, too bad because I still have other outfits I would like to try. So, I'll be right back. I'm coming. Okay, ma'am. I'm just, I'm just so confused. I, I'm so this. I don't, I don't even know what to think. The third miscarriage. This, this is ridiculous. My brother is the exact same thing that I am going through. Today she gets pregnant. Tomorrow she loses the baby. I, I don't know what could be the cause. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I just, I don't understand what's going on. How can you be going through the same thing I'm going through? Does that mean we will never have children? Do you know what's the most annoying, annoying part of this is that I will fire this woman morning, afternoon, evening just to get her pregnant. Then the next thing, the miscarriage will just take that child away. I, I don't understand. What could be the solution? What can we do? I can't think, man. My brain is not working right now. I just, right now, I just want to drink, drown this sorrow, and I don't know, just forget about the whole thing for now. You're not drinking. I'm, I'm drinking, bro. I'm drinking. Ah, don't worry, I'm drinking. We day here now. We go drink that. Oh, wow. Drink day, bro. Drink and forget your sorrows. Seriously, man, because... Hold on, one more. Do you want to go home? I mean, I have a very nice place for you to spend the night. I'm sorry, madam. I can't spend the night here. Why? And meanwhile, I didn't even tell the people at home that I won't be coming back. So they'll be worried about my whereabouts. Mm, yeah. Are you a child? Are you a baby? You know what? Look, those pictures, I want to surprise my husband when he gets back. And he won't be back till next tomorrow. So why not let's use today 
take all the pictures we can take and then tomorrow you go. And about the people at home, you could just call them and tell them that you'll be coming back tomorrow. Problem solved. So, get up. Let's take more pictures. I would want a certain position. So. I want to take your clothes up. Okay, that's fine. Yes, from here. That's fine. Just make it look good. That's the close-up yeah, shot. Close shots. It's really beautiful and nice. Yeah. And what do you think about the pictures? It looks charming, especially this one. Picture mm. number one, two, three, four, and three. You know you look very cute, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aren't you going to appreciate the compliment? Yeah. Not again, babe. Just look at the time you're coming back. And so what? So what? What business of yours is it what time I come back to my house? Can't you see that it's already late? I've been waiting for you. I have told you countless times. If you feel that I've stayed out too long and you need to go to bed, please just go to bed. There's no need for you to stay up and wait for me and, and, and then bug me with, with coming home late. Look, you have refused to give me a child in this house. And all you can bother yourself with is appointing yourself my timekeeper. So it's now a thing of mockery to you that I lose my babies to miscarriage. You can call it whatever you want, okay? All I want you to understand is that I'm the man in this house and I have every right to go and come as I please. I don't need you to babysit me or tell me that I'm coming back to my house late. Okay, if you can just learn this, then... different created in different ways there's so much going on behind the closed doors but you never know life can be cruel sometimes sometimes it will be so amazing People will criticize what they know. So live your life 
Keep all your secrets. There's nobody without a skeleton in this cupboard. So live your life. Live your life. Keep all your secrets. There's nobody without a skeleton in his cupboard. Cause at the end, it's your sanity that matters. That matters. When life throws stones at you, take the stones and build a wall for yourself. Ah, guide your heart, it's all you've got. Ah, diligently guide your heart, it's all you've got. Sweetheart, mm. good morning. Good morning, sweetheart. Ah, I am good. Well, as you can see, babe, that photographer, that guy is a striker. Babe, that guy took me to third heaven and back Stop several it. times. Stop it. Don't you dare mock me like that. How? Mock you? Oh, babe, I'm not trying to mock you. I'm just expressing my joy that I was finally satisfied, as you've always wanted. By telling me the things that happened between the both of you, I don't want to know and I don't care. You can keep it to yourself. Why are you getting angry? No, why are you getting angry over this? You brought the idea and you insisted that I do it despite my refusal. So why are you getting angry over this? So that small boy did what I couldn't do. That small boy. And that's why you want to rub it in my face. No, go ahead. Mock me. No, mock, mock me. Laugh at me. Only God knows why he made it so small. It's not your fault. I don't blame you. You can do whatever you want. Tell me whatever you want. You have the audacity to come here and tell me all the nonsense that happened between the both of you. Why are you making a case out of this issue? I mean, you were the originator of the idea, right? Then let me suffer for the idea that I originated. Let me bear the pain of being less of a man. Let me suffer in silence and just leave me alone. Don't touch me. We all are different. Created in different ways. <sighs> There's so much going on behind the closed doors But you never know Life can be cruel sometimes yeah. What do you think you're doing? Eh? Mama, Mama, leave me alone Mama, leave me alone, I'm not going anywhere Do you know what are you still doing here now? Get up there, go and get prepared. Let's go. There's no time. Never. Mama, I will not stand up from this house and follow you to go and chase brother's wife. Never. Mama, go alone. I'm not going. Chinenye. Chinenye. So you don't want to escort me to the city? Eh, Chinenye? Mama, stop calling my name. You don't want to escort me to the city? Okay? Mama, stop calling me. Just stop calling me. You want to go to the city, Abby? No problem. Mama, go alone. Go alone. Let me see how you locate brother's house. Hmm. Mama. No problem. Don't worry. I'll come in again in this house. 
You don't want to escort me. No problem. Don't worry. I must go and locate my son's house. And this house will not contain both of us. Oh, you don't even expect me to dress up and follow you to chase brother's wife. Just because she has miscarriage. Ah, Mama, it's not possible now. No problem. You want to go? Mr. Badro, go on your own. I'm no problem. Okay, what are you messing with your in this house? Eh? You are now my co-wife. Okay? No problem. I will go and come back. But this house will never contain both of us. Mama, bye bye. Rubbish. Mm. Nonsense. We all are different, created in different ways. Your food is ready. I'm not interested in any food you have to offer. You can go ahead and eat it on, on your own. Leave me alone. Babe, how can you tell me that you're not hungry? I know you're acting out of anger. Okay, I'm sorry. Come and eat. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? I am not interested. Leave me alone. My king. Look at me. I'm begging you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I promise you it will never happen again. In fact, that boy will never set foot in this house. I'm sorry. Look, I need you to eat for me. For us. Please, baby, I am so sorry. Sorry for overreacting. No. No, honey. I hold nothing against you. I know you feel bad. And I appreciate you too. I appreciate the fact that you always try to break limits to make me happy. And I love you too. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Let's go down and eat. Yes. Come, madam. Don't you have any chores to do around the house rather than sitting here all day watching television? For now, I don't have strength. I would do my chores when I get the strength. When you get the strength? Ornell, what exactly is your value in this house? Hmm? No, I'm, I'm asking you. What exactly have you contributed to this marriage since I married you? I don't understand. Where are all these questions coming from? They're coming from me. Okay? I'm asking you a very simple question. What is your contribution to this marriage since I married you? All you do is sit down, watch TV, eat, sleep, you wake up, you repeat the process. You can't clean the house. You can't even bloody boast of giving me a child. I can see you seriously want to make me sad, but it won't work for you. You want me to get depressed over the fact that I do not have a child, isn't it? Tell whoever sent you that I wasn't moved after your blabbing. Excuse me. Excuse you? Are you about to walk out on me? When did you grow such wings? You can't keep pushing me to the wall and expect me not to react. <laughs> Just being bloody useless. Hey, Mama! Hey! Hey! Oh, 
ask you for a hug? Do you want to transfer your cost to me? Mama, what, what is it? Which cost are you talking about? Anyway, you're welcome, ma. Let me see you. Oh, my God, what is all this? So you want to transfer your cost to me, up here? Did I ask you to carry my bag for me? Is this not my son's house? Because you know so. How I got come and get out of this room, boy? So you want to show me my son's house? Eh? I'm on our way. Don't say. Sorry, bro. So sorry, sorry, ass. So why, why? to break my Mama Mama Listen, Kedo. what are you Kedo, what are you doing here? How how did you find this place? Did someone accompany you? No. I'm here by myself. Hey. <sighs> okay, we are you're welcome. So, how are you? How, how is the village? How are the people at home? How is my sister? Who is your sister? Eh? Who is your sister? That one that doesn't have any respect for the mother. Look, I don't want to talk about her. Because I don't have her time. When I have her time, I will tell her that I'm still her mother. Oh, sense. It appears you came here very angry. Mama, this one that you didn't even call me to tell me you were coming. What, what is the problem? What's going on? The addicts in C. I didn't come here for any long talk. You know? I came here on a purpose. And I must achieve that purpose before I leave this house. Mama, what is your purpose? I hope you have not come up to, to fight with anybody. Eh? Because I don't have time for your problems. Oh, please, Mama. I don't have time for your problems. If you like, have time for my problems. If you like, don't have time for my problems. I don't care. You know, yeah? But that balloon witch that stays in this house must leave this house. That is why I'm here. Because come and show me my room. Come and show me where to keep my bag now. I'm going to take it easy now. Let me help you with the bag. Did I say the bag is too heavy for me? Come and show me. Yeah? Come and show me where to keep my bag. You're wasting my time. I didn't come here to play. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> You're a serious joker. <laughs> you know that, right? You're a serious joker. <laughs> but I'm happy. I'm happy I could make you laugh like this. Yes, because it's been long I saw you laugh this way. Yeah, you're right. It has been a while. I laughed this hard. But still, you are a serious joker. Mm. I'll take that as a compliment. It is. So you're welcome. Babe, mm -hmm. I've been thinking about something. Why are you looking at me like that? Is that not what you say? Each time you want to tell me something. Babe, I've been thinking about something. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you want to copy me, huh? Don't mm -hmm. you know that that's a breach of copyright? Don't you know it's punishable by law? <laughs> story. Story for the gods. Well. Babe. Talk to me. I want us to see a doctor. I mean, let's... Let's find out if there is a possible way. Or if there are drugs you can take to enhance yourself. I hope you get the point I'm trying to make. Yeah, I do. I think it's a brilliant idea, actually. Mm. I, I think a man doesn't rest until he finds a way to arrest all his challenges. So yes, let's yeah. do it. So, you're in support of the idea? Baby, anything to keep us cool and happy as we always have. I'm totally in. Thank you. So, Tom, when do you want us to go? Um, 
Of course, there are many drugs or, or let me say supplements that are believed to, you know, increase the size of a manhood, which eventually are not 100% certain. Doctor, are you saying that there are chances it might not work? Well, um, a greater percent of the trials have failed, but you can also give it a try. Moreover, it's God that heals, doctors really care. Mm. Mm. Doctor, on a scale of 1 to 100, how certain are you that this is going to work? Well, um, it's a 50-50 chance, you know, but your faith and uh, belief is also important if you ask me. Darling, I suggest we give this a trial. I believe it's going to work for us. Hmm? I'm willing to do whatever it is to find a solution to this misery. So let's go ahead with it. Thank you. Well, um, in that case, I'll help you get in touch with the vendors. It will be delivered to your doorstep. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Seems it's very bitter, right? Extremely bitter. Whew. I pray it works. That's my only concern. Of course it will. It will work. I want you to have the same fate. Hmm? Oh, wow. <laughs> this is your fate. It's becoming bigger than a mustard seed. They said mustard seed. <laughs> well done, honey. Thank you. Sometimes it will be so Oh man, it's so bitter, huh? Sorry, love, sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you want to go to bed? Mm. No, I'm just going to wait till this taste goes off first. It's horrible. So leave your life. Keep all your secrets. There's nobody without you. Oh, Mama, you are here. Come and join me at eight first. I said it. That the only thing you know how to do in this house is eat. Eat and eat and eat and nothing more. Eh? Mama, what offense have I committed by eating fruits or inviting you to come and join me? Whatever you do in this house is offensive. In fact, you offense yourself. Give me that thing. Oh, you saw. Eh? What is wrong with you? My son married you so that you can give me grandchildren. But no, the only thing you know how to do is eat and eat and eat. Eh? After eating, the whole thing will go and block the place where the children will stay. Every time you name a miscarriage. Rubbish. Every time your mouth is moving, eating, eating, eating. Nothing. Mama, let me tell you something. All these talks, mm -hmm. they don't move me. Yeah. I am too strong to allow these talks affect me. So yeah. please, kindly give me my plate of fruit. Let me eat in peace. I see. <laughs> so I'm talking and you still want to eat fruits. Okay? What? Rubbish. What's this? I want to understand something here. Your mother's coming. Is it to stay with us or to look for what she would say I did to her? What's the meaning of that? Look at my body! She came, carried the fruit I was eating and poured on me. Telling me that I eat a lot. What's that supposed to mean? Excuse me. Is that why you barged in here like that? Is that why you are hyperventilating this way? Is that why you're so, like, angry? Now, let me tell you. The day that I will hear you talk to my mother disrespectfully, let alone 
that you lay your hands on her, you will see the real beast in me. <laughs> so it has become a thing of threat. Anyway, you and your mother are very far from achieving that very plan you have over me. Alright? You can never succeed in getting me depressed. Never. Imagine the nonsense. Why would she not say you eat too much? When every single minute of the day you are eating something, there's always something in your mouth. That's all you know how to do. Eat. Eat. When you barge in here angrily like you're going to set the house on fire because someone told you the truth. Mama, you're here. And I was looking for you in your room. For what? Why are you looking for me? Ah, Mama. You know, I am gradually falling in love with all this your noise. I mean, it keeps the house warm. And I'm sure you are enjoying the warmness, as I can see. Lian So you are not saying that I'm a clown? Eh? Is that what you're trying to say? Mm. Your mother-in-law? Now you're a comedian, up here, entertaining you. Get out of Nonsense. Well, I'm glad you heard what I said very well. So whatever you decide to make out of it, it's your business. I was looking for you to tell you that I'm going to see a friend of mine. I see. So anytime my son is not in the house, pyam, you sneak out to go and see men. Up here? Yes, so. I go and see men. If he pains you. Go and see me too, shameless woman. It is you that is shameless! Eh? It is the whole of your generation that is shameless! They are Allah, stupid people! Don't worry! You will see what I will do to you! By the time I am finished with you! Hey! So where are wrong? Try me! Continue this nonsense you're doing. No problem. Are you trying to tell me that your mother-in-law has been in your house? Abusing you? Hmm. Abuse is too soft compared to what I'm going through in her hands. That woman wants to force me into quitting this marriage. So what's your husband saying about this? I told you some time ago that my husband has really changed. Hmm. He's no longer the man I used to know. You can't believe that he supports everything his mother says or does to me. No. No, 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 no. No. This is too much for you to bear. I seriously feel your pain. Hmm? So what do you think is the way out? Because I need to know what, what you want to do. Before I can tell you my own view. From the way they act and talk, it's obvious they no longer want me in the house. They're family entirely. My mother-in-law said that I'm a witch who has sworn that she will never see her grandchildren before she dies. My husband keeps abusing me that I have failed in my duty as a wife to give birth to a child. I mean, these are enough reasons to to prove that they no longer want me. Yeah. Well, I'm happy. I'm happy you can see how clear the picture is. You can see that you're no longer wanted in that family. My friend, if you will listen to me, since you know they no longer want you in their family, why not just move on and, and let them be? It's not easy. It's not easy to divorce a man you're in love with. I mean, I love my husband. I can't even imagine us divorcing. In that case, you should fight for your spot in his life. Girl, you are his rightfully wedded wife. You have to do everything to make sure you don't lose him. But you still have to be careful. Because it will be absurdic 
to lose your life while trying to fight for a spot where you know you're not wanted. I believe you understand what I mean. You have to use your head. Oh my goodness. People, what you said is true. I told you, since I started taking those drugs, I've not felt anything grow, not even by an inch. All I keep feeling is pain, immense pain. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me that you feel pain as a result of the drugs? I don't think I can keep taking these drugs anymore. Yes, you, of course you can't. You need to stop before you develop into something else. Look, maybe by tomorrow we'll go see the doctor and tell him that the drugs are not working. Honey, I'm, I'm really sorry for the pain you felt. It's okay. It's not your fault. I know, but still, I feel so bad. Sorry. It's fine. We all Sorry. are different. It's okay. Hmm? Created in Stop different the ways. I love you. I love you too. Oh There's God. so what? much going on behind the closed door. No, we both took it Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Go to bed. People will criticize what they know. Am I good morning? Papa, good afternoon, sir. Good evening, sir. Papa, good night, sir. So you think you can just spoil my morning for me? Huh? Like I can just wake up and annoy me from morning till night? Let me tell you something. It won't work. And I will keep greeting you. Don't greet me. Go and greet your late parents in their graves. It will sue. You witch that has refused to allow me go for a mugwa like my fellow women. Mama, are you done ranting? Are there no more things you think can make me cry you want to say? Still, good morning, ma. Good dog, wagon. In fact, I'm good here, get into Eh? Did I ask for your greeting? Did I? Nonsense. Mama, is it not too early for us to start making noise here? Hmm? But then, I'll still remind you that you can't ruin my money. Just wait for the arrow to rebound and you will see what you've done to yourself. Mama. Mama. Ogeni. Okay. Seriously, I don't like the way you and my wife have been biting at each other since you came to this house. You should be telling your wife that, not me. Eh? Your wife should learn how to respect herself. I am not her age mate, so she should mind the way she talks to me. But Mama, there is nothing wrong with her greeting you in the morning. Eh? Why would you use that as an opportunity to remind her that she's an orphan? Is she not? Are her parents not late? No one man you. Yeah. Uh, but that should not constitute uh, uh, a, a talking point that you'll be using to hammer on her ev every time now. Eh? If you have anything to say to her, can't you just say it without I I I involving the fact that she's an orphan all the time, insulting her with that? I know that the fact that she has not given birth to a child yet is a problem. It's a problem for me as well. But there are some things that we shouldn't just say. Uh, let's be careful with our words. Choose. Uh, it's, it's not fair. You can't just talk to her like that. And Mama, please, I want to know what exactly you came to this house to do. When you left the village and said you were coming to the city, what exactly was your plan? My plan is to make sure that she leaves your house so that you marry another woman that will give me grandchildren. Uh -uh. And that Mama. can never be possible, Mama. You were not the one that brought me to this marriage. You cannot break my home. Baby, please. Can't... Don't beg me. Enough of this rubbish. Your mother came all the way from the village to stay with us here. 
And instead of minding her business and respecting herself, she keeps abusing her ancestors in the, in the name of trying to chase me out of my husband's house. So you even have the mouth to talk to me as you like, eh? Don't, don't worry. No problems. I know how to handle people of your type. <laughs> you can't do anything. You can't do anything. Listen, if you see me leaving this house tomorrow, just know it is as a result of my personal decision and not because of this little trick you're playing with your son. You guys can go ahead and plan whatever you want against me. It will never work. I will not shake! I never forget. The arrow must rebound. Breakfast is ready. If you people want to eat. Bro, seriously, I, I, I need your help, man. I'm confused. My my brain my brain is not functioning. I'm not thinking straight. I'm so confused. I just okay, okay. I don't know what to do. Calm down, bro. What is the problem? What is going on? My mother. My my my, my mom. She's been in my house for God knows how long now. It's been too long. And she refused to leave, and there's no single day that passes that she, she and my wife don't exchange words. They, they quarrel, nag at each other, and make the house so, so unbearable for me. My mother has become verbally abusive to my, to my wife. So what exactly is your mom still doing in your house? Why is she still there? She, she, she said she wants my wife to leave. She wants my wife to leave the house if, if she's, she's not going to bear children for me. She, she, she refuses to leave because of that. So bro, what is your opinion? Do you want your wife to stay or do you want her to leave? I, I, I don't even know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. I'm so confused. Dixon, you cannot be confused. You're the man of the house. You're the man that everyone looks up to to make binding decisions in that house. You cannot be confused. You alone should decide. I don't live with you. I cannot tell you how to lay on your bed. You alone should decide if your wife stays or not. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm fed up, okay? I'm fed up, Clem. I'm, I'm, I'm fed up of my wife and endless miscarriages. Why does she keep having these miscarriages? Okay. Then let her go. Free her. Let her leave. But know this. You letting her go doesn't make you a man. A man is that strong creature that stands his ground in the face of whatever. A strong creature that decides, that fights all his challenges until he is free. That's what makes you a man. But then again, it's your family and it's a free world. So whatever you decide is up to you. Jesus! Yeah. You see your life in Afia? You see your life? Eh? On that broad daylight, you're having a terrible dream. Hmm? Madam Zabi, how did you know I had a dream? Let alone knowing it's a terrible dream. No, what on earth will ever make you to be shouting blood of Jesus in this broad daylight, if not a terrible dream? Only you know knows the type of dream you are having. Where you are doing what you know with your spiritual husbands. Yes! Because I know it is only spiritual husbands that will make somebody to be dreaming like this and be shouting. Eh? And I know they have destroyed your womb. That you cannot even carry children. Isn't it? Mama, you are always 
trying to make unnecessary trouble where there is no trouble. I don't have your time. Eh? Hey, hey. Me, I don't need your time. Eh? Hey? See, eh? Hey, I want you to quietly go in there, pack your things, and leave my son's house. Leave my son alone, no! Allow him to marry another wife that will give me grandchildren. <laughs> you know what I mean? I will not leave your son alone, no! Because of all this, your small, small noise. If you like, don't go back to the village. Stay here and continue misbehaving. I will not leave your son because of all this, your noise. Okay? Oh, Mama wouldn't let misbehaving. Eh? Okwea, no problem. So, Bwadiro, I know how to handle people of your type. By the time I am done with you, with that, your nonsense language of arrow that will rebound. Hey, hey. Oh! You still remember the arrow? Oh, that's so nice of you. I am so proud of you, Mama. Uh -uh. At least, I know you have it in your mind that once I leave this house, the arrow must rebound. I don't trust him anymore. I'm just taking it for taking sick. Babe, but you know you have to keep taking it. You have to keep taking it. Because we don't know which of this drug will, will perform the miracle we've been waiting for. Eh? Take now. Better walk. It will. Better it walk. Will. I just wanted to walk. I'm tired. It will, it will work. It will work. Huh? I am very fine, Nancy. How is my brother and Mama? They're all fine. I actually called you because of Mama. I knew that was her plan. And I begged her severally, like I begged her not to come to the city, but she wouldn't listen to me. If you can call her and talk to her, that would be very nice. I am very sorry about that, Auntie. If I may ask, what did she do exactly? I don't know, she's just looking for what she would say that I did to her. I am very, very, very sorry. Very, very, very sorry about that, Auntie. See, the thing is, I will try and call her and talk to her. Ever since Mama came here, She's been insulting and abusing me. There's nothing I do in this house that she doesn't talk bad of. Mama doesn't listen to anything I say. Oh. Mama is very stubborn. But I will just try and talk to her. Eh? But no matter what she says and no matter what she does, don't listen to her. Don't let her words get to you. Eh? You know she's getting old. Okay? I'm very sorry about that. Yeah, I heard what you said. So tell me, how is life in the village? Ah, fine, no. We are managing. <laughs> hey, I'll go back. From the drugs you took. It's from the drugs. I told you. I don't know which kind of drugs will kill somebody before they see results. Uh, babe, I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry, babe. Ah. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. I was the one that brought the idea. I'm sorry. Ah. You know what? You're no longer going to take the drugs again. You're no longer going to take it. And we are not mm. buying another one. Eh? I'm, not I'm, so another. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't take the drugs again. How is it doing you? Ah. Ah. Yeah. Stop. Stop. It's so painful. Oh. What do we do now? What? So, doctor, you're telling me that even with the size of my penis, I can still impregnate my wife? 
Hundred mm. percent. Now, besides, it's only advantageous in satisfying a woman, and also that depends on the woman in question. You know, some women can't even handle above average. Doctor, doctor, we're not talking about above average here. My husband's manhood is very small. Very small. You know, um, as long as a man is potent, he can actually impregnate a woman. It doesn't matter if his penis is small or not. And you can also opt for artificial insemination if you're buoyant enough. Mm. You know, I think I'm going to try the natural means and see for myself. That is, if my wife is up for it. Yes, yes. Yes, I am up for it, Doctor. That's it, is it then? Thank yes, you very much, Doctor. You said you had something you wanted to discuss. Yes. What's it? It's about our childlessness. I'm seriously concerned and worried about our situation. And I think it's high time we went in search of a solution. The only solution to your problem is to pack out of my son's house. Enano, pack your things and leave my son's house so that he will marry another woman that will give him children. I need grandchildren. Biko. I'm upstairs. I'm upstairs. Come upstairs, babe. Okay. Babe. Hey, babe. <sighs> hey, babe. What's... I think you said you were going to see your friend. Why are you so early? Well, I didn't go to see my friend. I went to see the doctor. Okay, so what's with the excitement? Mm. Don't it, it? It worked! It worked? <laughs> it worked! So we're pregnant? Yes! It oh, my <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! You're yes, pregnant! Yes! Yes! Thank yes, you, oh god. Thank you. Pregnant. Thank you so much. <laughs> Finally! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you for answered prayers. Thank you. God thank is you. so faithful. So babe, he did it! Congratulations thank to you. us. Thank you! Let me show you do it. Here you go. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. This is this is the, this is the greatest news. <laughs> Finally. Hello? My daughter. Hey, look at us. I'm fine though. Good day. How are you? How's your husband? Oh. Oh, he's he's there with you. Eh? Uh, Pick him for now. Hello? Fine love. Good day now. Thank you, man. I hope everything is fine. Ha! You people, you people have forgotten me now. What have I done? Ha! Uh also come more catch us back. This one you remembered to call me today. Ha! Who am I? Eh? Like you That you are pregnant. Eh? Can you not want me here? Oh! Eh? That my daughter is pregnant. This her phone now, let me hear from her. Yeah. 
How is the city and the people you went to visit? What is your business? Eh? No, no, tell me what is your business about the city and the people I went to see? Is it not you that I beg to accompany me to the city? But you refused. Okay? Now you're asking me, eh, eh, how is the city? Mama, I don't see anything wrong with asking you where you went to and how the people you went to see it. Ah, let's just leave that one, Sha. The thing is, um, there was this day, my brother's wife called me. Who is your brother's wife? No, 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 who is your brother's wife? That witch? That witch that doesn't have a single respect for me. The only thing she knows how to do is just to eat and sleep. Eh? You're calling her your brother's wife. Uh -uh. Mama, you see, these few words of yours have proven to me that everything she complained about you is true. She up. told me you insult and bully her in her house. Mama, why would you have to shut your mouth? Shut it. Just go inside and cook something for us to eat. I don't ever have to chop, 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 chop. Get out of here, Easter. I don't want to hear that nonsense name again. What is that animal on yours or what? I don't want to hear that name again in this house. Mommy, I've said my own no. I'm saying my truth. You cannot just stand up and go to a woman's house and maltreat her just because she's married to your son. Yeah. No, no, no. Come close. Come close and say, let me redesign this nonsense face of yours. Mommy, I'm saying the truth. I'm telling you, my Get out. Mind. Get inside. I said, get, get inside the oyster. Are you stupid? Have you called Mama to know if she arrived safely? Yes, yes, I did. Oh. I called her. She's at home. She's fine. Okay, thank God. Babe, hold on. Please, don't babe me. If your mother is gone and you suddenly remember you have a babe in this house, it is well. What exactly are you insinuating? I am not insinuating anything far from what your mind is telling you already. You brought your mother to your house to chase me out? I didn't bring Mama here. Okay? I didn't invite Mama here. She came on her own. To chase me out? And you backed her all through. I now know that all this while you told me you love me. You're just joking. Why are you making me out to be such a bad guy? Huh? Come on. How is any of this my fault? How is it my fault that you can't bear children? How is it my fault that you keep having these miscarriages? And the miscarriages is why you want me out of your house. Why can't you stay with me in my difficult time? Why can't you be my fortress in distress? I mean, what's the essence of having you in my life? Anyway, I got the message you and your mother passed. It's quite obvious. And I will soon leave this house for you people. You don't understand. What is there to understand? What is there to understand? Just have your drink in peace. Hey, Hey, She's fine. Hey, hey. Hey, you know, I've been longing to tell you something. Mama, what is it? Hope all is well. Oh, there's no problem. Uh, um, this is my son. I don't know whether you know him. He wants to get married and I want you to marry him. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. But how can I get married to your son that I don't even know? My dear, you will know him because he spent almost all his life in the city. Hey, but just mm -hmm. accept to marry him. Oh, that's no problem. No, no, Mama. At least we need to get to know each other first. At least I know his turn offs and turn on. And I think that's the best thing first to get to know your son. 
Uh -uh. What is the essence of spending time and getting to know each other? When if you get married to him, you will spend time with him and get to know him more. Eh? Mama, Tyra is gone. No. Tyra is gone. Because I wouldn't want a situation after getting married to you now, I'll start calling you to come and set to fight for us. I don't want it. Mm -mm. So let me get to know your son. Do you know if he even like himself? He will. Whatever I like, my son will like. Uh -huh. yeah? Uh -huh. And there will be no problem at all. I'm, I'm giving you assurance. But if he insists, no problem. You can follow me to the city. Uh, so that you see him and then spend time with him and get to know him more, like he said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in that case, I'll, I'll have to tell my parents about it. If they consent, I'll let you know. That one is no problem now. If it is about talking to your parents, no problem. Let's go right away. I will talk to them um, uh, personally. But yeah? My mother sent me on an errand. Happy after you go. Let's go. Let's go. I hope your mother is in the house. Yeah, she's in the house. Um, Anya. Uh, let's go to your house now. Hey! Mama, no. Mara, baby. Good, 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 good. everything I asked you to do before going out. Yes, Mama. Okay. Take her back to the room and show her where to keep it. Oh? Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. she will show you where to keep it. Mm -hmm. Help her with the bag now. You know, I got one, one, one. Hey. She's here. Here. Asking me stupid questions. Mama, it will not happen. Okay, get out. Come to Ike Biko. Mama, it will not happen. I say get out of this place also. <laughs> get out before I slap you. idea of having a helping hand. You know, I just don't want to bring someone that I don't know to this house all in the name of a house help. So how else would you get a house help if not through a stranger? That's how it works, babe. I know, I know, I know, but uh, I'm just not comfortable with the idea of having a house help because I don't want to start thinking that Am I treating someone or someone is not being treated right? I just don't like the idea. Look, honey. Don't worry about me, okay? I'll be fine. You know what? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to talk to your mother. I'll see if she's willing to stay with us and help. That way, she will be the one to tell you what you should and shouldn't do in order to keep our baby safe. That's much better. Hmm. Thank you. You're I welcome. mean, I prefer my mom rather than having a house help. <laughs> I'm glad. Thank you, baby. So I'll speak with her and I'll let you know. Meanwhile, it's been a while. I need to speak to Clem Jr. Give me a moment. Okay. <laughs> Come here. Mm. Mm. Yes? Mm -hmm. 
So what was he saying? Please, madam, keep quiet. I'm trying to speak with my, my, my good friend, Junior. Okay, sorry. Uh, Mr. Clem. Mm. What? What was that? She only feeds you, she doesn't feed you well. <laughs> That's not only true. Only rice and ever. <laughs> and plenty of sugar. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Glenn, so, Glenn so, Jr., so tell sorry. daddy that mommy wants chicken. Chicken, ah. Chicken. And custard ice cream. No, no, no ice cream for you. With well, a lot of pizza. We need Junior looking healthy and sharp. Tell me, when are you coming back? Because I can't afford to miss you. And I can't afford to be away from you for too long, baby. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Sooner than you know. Okay. Okay, just just be safe, okay? And drive carefully. I will. And you be careful. Take care of yourself and my little junior. <laughs> okay? I will. Look, I love you so much and I will miss you. I love you too. Alright? And I'll miss you so much. Don't worry, I'm not going to be in the village for too long. Mm. I'll be back as soon as I can. Bye. Let me see you all. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, what is it again this time? This will be the third time I'm bringing this up. The last time your mother interrupted us. So now she's no longer here. Let's discuss and know what to do about it. Can you please just go straight to the point and let me know what exactly it is we need to discuss. About our fertility. Babe, don't you think we should have gone to the hospital to find out why it's been hard for us to have a child? The question is, why do you think I need to go to the hospital when clearly you are the one with the problems? I'm not the one that's been having miscarriages. I know it's me. But don't you think that we should go for a medical checkup together? You never can tell. The reason I'm losing my pregnancy could be as a result of an abnormality from you. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? That must be the joke of the year. What are you talking about? An abnormality from me? You're getting pregnant and having miscarriages. That's you. This is not me. Okay? Okay. I'm sorry. Could you please accompany me to the hospital? Let me check what is wrong with my body. I need you to stop talking about taking me to the hospital, okay? I'm glad that you have finally come to the realization that there is a problem and that we need to find a solution to it. Frankly, I don't know why it took you so long to come to that realization, but now that you have, please take yourself to the hospital and get checked out so you can find a solution to your problem and keep me out of it, please. Excuse me. Down. Mm? Relax. While I go get us something that we're going to chill with, and then I will just hear about everything. <laughs> okay. 
if you say so. I they come. Just wait. It deserves a bottle of wine. Definitely. <laughs> okay. So, there you go. You. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yes. Okay. <laughs> My dear friend, <laughs> let's cheers to my baby on the way. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. I don't know. I can't express how happy I am. Like, I thank God for you. <laughs> you will soon be a mother. Oh, yes. Aww. You know, it feels truly great. <laughs> you don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I've passed through before this pregnancy came by. Girl, <laughs> if you knew, you go pity me. It's not an easy one. Mm. Congratulations. Thank you. But when it comes to what you've been through, just chill. Because you didn't see half of the things I am seeing in the hands of my husband and his mother. <laughs> My dear, you can't be so sure. Yes, because you're not always here with me. So you can't be sure. I can beat my chest and tell you that. Do you know that I do not enjoy anything at home at all? A married woman like me has nothing that makes her happy. The only thing that makes me happy is when I'm making out with my husband. Of course, when his mood is a bit okay. <laughs> My dear, at least you have something to be happy about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, happy for a manhood that can't impregnate a woman. Huh? What do you mean? Hmm? Oh, no. I thought you told me your husband, I mean, your husband has been getting you pregnant. Just that you've been unlucky with miscarriages. My dear, please, let's just forget about my husband for now and focus on the beautiful thing God has done for you. Uh, no, 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 no or no. You're not going to pass on this one. Because I don't understand what you're saying. Huh? You told me you've been having miscarriages. And now you're telling me that your husband can't get you pregnant. That's a very strong contradiction. Or have you been sleeping with someone else? What you do not know will forever remain a mystery to you. But the normal thing to the people who already know, I have never slept with another man. Then how come you've been having miscarriages when your husband is important? Now that you have eaten, you have had a drink, you cannot say that I have not entertained you. <laughs> so, tell me, who is this person and what is she doing here? Okay, this is Amara. You can call her Amara, babe. <laughs> As you can see, she's so beautiful. In fact, she's an epitome of beauty. Not just that she's from a decent home, but also from a very fertile home. Her senior sister gave birth to seven children, six boys, and one girl. Hmm? 
So you can see. <laughs> so I brought her as your wife. <laughs> One. Relax, oh. This is your husband's house. So feel free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Mama, you do realize what you're trying to do here? Of course. You realize that you're trying to force a woman on me in spite of the fact that I am married. <sighs> Mama, good day. Pico, I don't need your greetings. And I know, Kenken has a good day. Why did he even come back by this time? Mama, you know I'm not always in the mood for your troubles. Excuse me. You go, go. Enemy of progress. Mama, what is going on? Monitoring bed. Excuse me. Which? Mm -hmm. Just look at how he just followed her. I'm also. Your son is married. Onel, why did you have to speak to my mom in that manner? Are you not the one I'm talking to? Excuse me? I just asked you a question. Why did you have to talk to my mother like that in the presence of a visitor? A visitor indeed. Why did your mother speak to me like that when she knows we have a visitor? I don't like the way you talk, oh. I don't like the way you talk at all. Do I look like I care? No, do I look like I care whether you like the way I talk or not? If your mother wants me to respect her, she should respect herself first. If I may ask, who is the girl with you people? That's the girl my mother brought for me to marry. What? What a fun tree. Your mother brought another girl into my matrimonial home for you to marry? Hm. Is that not the highest disrespect she can ever show me? And you? Your mother is forcing a woman on you. As weak as you are, you accepted. Excuse me? Aren't you going to ask me first if I accepted or not? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't need to ask before I know you did. Because that has been the plan you and your mother had. But I bet you will live to regret this. You're jumping into conclusions here. You're being very hasty. I didn't accept. Okay. What was your reaction when your mother told you she wants you to marry the girl? We all are different. Mm -hmm. But that's still not a reason for you to disrespect my mother. Hey, baby. Mm, I'm finding you. Right. So you got to the house and you couldn't even tell me that you're home. That's very bad of you. Well, how is Mama? I know, right? So, have you told her about the plan? <laughs> Typical Mama. <laughs> I know that's what she's going to say. I know. <laughs> um, could... I would like to talk to her if she's close to you. Enjoy. Don't tell me about anything. Just enjoy. My regards to Mama, right? Bye. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> now, one thing about me is that I love peace so much. And I'm an advocate for peace. For long you have shown me through words and actions that you don't want me here. I, on my own side, I have tried so hard to see if I can stay. But seeing the bold step you took to get another wife for your son, I have no other choice than to leave for the sake of peace. <laughs> This ambassador, Biko, leave my son alone. Hmm? 
leave my son's house so that he can marry another girl that can give him children. I need grandchildren. You believe that I am the problem here? Your son also believes so. But Dixon here is the reason I haven't been able to give birth to a child. Hmm? Because he is important. Are you, are you crazy? Have you lost your damn mind? Are you insane? What the hell? What, what's wrong with what, what are you saying? How many times did I get you pregnant? Three. Three times. Three times. Oh. You are the one who had bloody miscarriages those same three times. And you're here suggesting that I'm impotent. Do you even know the meaning of impotence? Dixon, you have never gotten me pregnant for once. You know, I was really bothered at some point. I've seen your case and uh, there's nothing I can do right now here um, until I carry out a fertility test to find out if you're fertile first. Doctor, please. Anything you can do to help me out, please do it. I'm ready to carry out the test. Okay. In that case, let's see. Okay, um, give this to the lab scientist, she will know what to do. Okay. It's just um, the second door by your left. Okay, thank you very much. That was the beginning of the journey that revealed that Dixon it's important. A few days later, I went back to the hospital to get the test results. And glory be to God. The results showed that I am not barren. I thought of what to do. I didn't know how to convince you to go to the hospital and also take a test. Because you really believe that I am the problem. As days went by, he got more and more upset with me. As days went by, Dixon got more and more and more upset with me. And I figured it was because of my inability to, to get pregnant. Because he always mentioned that whenever he spoke to me in anger. Good day, doctor. Yeah, good day. You're welcome. Thank Please you. Please have a seat. Thank you. I'm still not comfortable, doctor. But um, you've gotten your test results and it shows you're fertile. What could be disturbing you? My husband. My husband is seriously on my neck. 
He believes that the reason I haven't taken in is me. I don't even know how to convince him to come here and have a test because currently things are not really smooth between us. Well, um, you have to bring him here so we can run a test on him and know what's wrong. He's too stubborn. He won't accept to come here. Maxwell, please. I want you to help me with the fake pregnancy test result. Please. Anel, you know, it's against my work ethics. But um, I'm doing this because we've come a long way. You know, from school days and all that, you know. Uh, just give me a minute. Let me call the lab scientist to get me the result. Thank you. So you've been you've been playing games with me all this time? Yes. I was never pregnant. I never had any miscarriage. If you were smart enough, you would have noticed that whenever I faked the miscarriage, you can only see blood on my laps. What kind of a person are you? The kind of woman you turned me into. The kind of woman that can share her pain with her so-called husband. I tried. I tried so hard to convince you to go to the hospital with me so we can figure out what the problem was. But you kept on refusing, saying that I am the problem. Dixon, I was ready to stand by you. I was ready to stay with you till we find the solution to your problem. But boom. Your mother came from the village to chase me out of my own husband's house and you supported her, Dixie! <sighs> you people want me out of the house. You want me out of your family. I will go. I really wish you well. And I pray that God Almighty will give you children through your new wife. I'm cool yet. As a matter of fact, I can't even spend one more night in this house. for everything. Very good note. 
that you are pregnant. Hey! No, oh, my God, I think you have seen what the Lord has done. Yeah? <laughs> oh, Mom, we thank God. God has finally answered our prayers. Welcome, Mama. I'm pregnant. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to our humble abode. This is where we are managing for now until we pray to God to uplift us some more. Amen. My son, he will certainly uplift you. Amen. Okay? Amen. 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 Mama. Mama. Do you want me to get you something to eat? Eat what? What am I eating? Me that have been enjoying myself <laughs> with the delicious opera that Mama brought. I think I'm for the one. I'm for the one. Mama, <laughs> what is he saying? Don't worry. So, babe, you finished all the opera that Mama brought. We didn't finish anything. Don't worry, there's more remaining for you, okay? There's still some remaining. Wait, Mama didn't even brought. Uh... Well done. She fits me in this house. <laughs> well done. Mama, no so you give, you give my husband everything. Yes, ma'am. Yes. You are sure? Very, very sure. And you brought a lot of everything. Okay. Trust <laughs> me, I need to be pampered because of my baby that is coming. That's why I prepared everything and come to you. <laughs> Mama, you're welcome. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> What is it? Why are you touching me? What do you mean, why am I touching you? I don't understand you. Uh, isn't it part of the process of, of getting to know each other? Getting to know me? And that's the only way you get to know me? By touching? Must you touch me? Must you? We are planning on getting married soon. And my mother said you wanted to get to know me very well before you accept. At least I just felt like if we just do, you know, just one round this night so that you can get to see how good I am in the game. Eh? One round? You want to give me one round? That is the only way you get to know who you want to marry. I not even told you I'm interested in marrying you. Do I look like a fool that you and your mother will bring to this house and tie down? No, oh, I'm very good though. I'm Don't good. touch me! If you just try me once, you... Leave me alone. I don't understand you. Excuse me. What don't you understand? You want Why to you get... me? want to give me one round? Why are you angry That's like the this? only way you get to know me. What kind of nonsense is this now? you as a good woman but your actions have shown me you're nothing close to it mama your son is important and you brought me here to marry him you're shocked you think i don't know i heard everything i heard everything that transpired amongst you your son and the woman he married Mara, she's telling lies my son is not important. She's the one that is barren. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I give birth to an important child. That's not possible. It's it's not it's not you call her a witch because she couldn't give your son a child. Which your son is the problem. Okay, Mama. Let's say I got married to your son and I am not fertile. And he's the fertile one. This is what you do to me. This is how you throw me out of your home. This is how you threw me out of my matrimonial home because I couldn't give birth. That is mean. 
Mama, you are very wicked. Anyways, I won't be a party to it. I cannot throw a woman away from a home she built for years. I can't do that. And I can't even marry a mama's boy. A man who cannot speak for himself. A man who is being controlled by his mother. You know, for this whole thing, give me money, let me just go back to the village. Mm, it's okay. You see, everything you just said is correct. Eh? But you cannot go now. It's too early. Oh, that drum mouth. So that you will not get hot on the road. Pick up. You give me trust to in the morning. No problem. I'll wait in the panel. I'm not going back there. Go, go, go on. I can see that you both are very fine. <laughs> Thank God for that. Of course, Mama, we are fine. So, now that you are awake... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I was going downstairs to make breakfast. What would you like to eat? Mm -hmm. Don't bother yourself for that. I don't need it for now. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, tell me. How are you coping with the pregnant? Do you have any challenges? Or do you experience much pain? Ah, oh, Mama, mm? I'm happy. Yes, that finally I have someone that will understand me, that I can share my pains with. Because this big head that I call my husband, <laughs> Mama, this one doesn't understand anything. He doesn't understand what a pregnant woman, what we go through. <laughs> this one. Hey! <laughs> No. Mama. Can you know what How can you expect a man to understand what you are going through? Mama, why won't you understand? He will never understand it. And it is not his fault. He's a man. Mm. That's how God created a man. Mama, mm. let me tell you something. This is your daughter. <laughs> she doesn't allow me to sleep at night. Mm? Yes. She will wake me in the middle of the night and tell me to go and get her water. I'll bring water for her. Then she'll tell me that she has changed her mind, that she wants juice. Then next thing she'll tell me that she wants something that is not in this house. I will drive all the way around and finally find those things. And when I come back, she's already asleep. When I wake her up, she tells me not to disturb her. Hi. Mama, please tell me between she and I, who is the big head? Look at what she's wearing on her head. Hey, you are trying. Mama, please, hey, just, 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 just ignore, ignore him. him. Just ignore him. him. Mama, don't mind him. Mama, see me, I'm hungry. I think, I think I'm hungry at this point and I must eat. And I don't want to eat anything that I will cook. No, so, Mama, I want to eat stuff for you now. Eh. Yeah. Ah, ah. Now, go go have a Oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's village food. We like it. Okay, Mama. Mama, can, 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 can you see, can you see the, the situation you have, you have created for me? Can you see the mess that you have gotten me into? What mess have I gotten you into? Eh? You succeeded in sending my wife packing. You sent her away from my house and then replaced her with that, that, that decorated witch that cannot even spend two days with me in this house. And so, then she... how is that my problem? Mama, tell me, how is that my problem? How is it not your problem, Mama? Eh? No, tell me, am I the cause of your impotence? Am I? Eh? Look, I am leaving this house. Biko, Imalebe Salaruja Chirakwagi. 
I want to go back to the village. You are leaving this house to where, Mama? To my village house now. What am I still doing in your house? Mama, Mama after, 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 after you came here and, and, and caused uh, trouble for me, you, you want to leave. Who caused trouble for you? No, no, no. Who caused trouble for you? Who knows whether who, you used your manhood to do money ritual that made you to be important? No, no, no. Or wh whether you have finished oh, oh, the whole new trend in you. You know all these small, small girls you were seeing? Yeah? And you couldn't get your wife pregnant. You know, I said, Mama, Mama, leave me alone. No. Mama, that, I'm not the cause of your problem. You say. That's what you will say in, in, in this situation. After, Mama, please, all I have to say to you now is please go, go and bring my wife back to this house. Eh? Uh -huh. You shameless boy. Eh? Uh -huh. Am I the one that chased your wife out? Are you not the one that supported me? Me. Even when your wife left, you went inside the room with Amara. Eh? If you don't know me, why? Shame on to you. Mama, please, whatever you have to say, eh? just all I care about. No, pium, 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 pium. Mama, go and bring my wife back to this. I house. will not bring your wife back because I'm not the one that chased her out. In fact, I don't even have, have time for all this talking. Give me money. That is why I'm here. Money Give me money. Me. I want to go back to the village. The money I gave to Amara. And I don't even have any money with me here. You, you, may go you want to go back to the village? Yes. You, you leave me in this situation and go back to the village. It's after the mess you have created. And you, you know, want me to give you money for the transport. Give me, Mama, go give me money. Give me, give me money now. Mama, you're not going anywhere. Give me money. If you don't give me money, I will not leave this house. My son. I must say thank you for the way you love and take good care of your wife, my daughter. Oh my God. Are you always very happy and fulfilled seeing you, seeing both of you play like you are a twin? Hey! Mama, the same goes with your daughter. She loves me and cares for me so much. Yeah. I'm so grateful to God every single day that I married a woman just like that. I'm so grateful. To be honest, if it wasn't that I married her, I, I think I would have been dead by now. Hey. 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 You've started again. Hmm? You're sounding as if your life is attached to mine. Well, not really, but to a large extent. I'm glad I married you because you're one of the reasons why I am a happy man. And that makes me come alive. My son. I must make this confession so that you can forgive me. I don't know if my daughter did tell you that I asked her to quit this marriage over since she complained to me. Uh, no, 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 Madam, Mama, Mama, it's okay. No, no, please, 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 please get up. Just get up. Get up first. Get up, please. Please, please, get up. Mama. It's okay. I don't hold it against you. I understand. I know where it's coming from. She did tell me. And I know you did it because your daughter, you love her very much. And you want her to live a happy life. There's nothing to forgive. Any mother would have done that. Okay, Mama. Thank you. Mama, it's, oh, no, 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 it's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. My daughter. Mama, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, babe, yes. there's also something I want to say to you. You've been such a nice and caring husband that can break limits just to make me happy. Thank you. And I want you to know that I love you so much. And if there is one thing I know that I did, to hurt you. I would say it's the photographer we brought to the house. On your own suggestion. But I want you to know that nothing happened between us. Yes. 
That very day. Get out! Get out! Stop it! Stop! Get off me. What, what is it? Get out. Leave! Get out! Leave before I break these cameras! Get out! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'll transfer your money to you. I have your account details. I'm sorry. Just leave! Get out! Go! Get out! You must be joking, right? You mean nothing happened between the both of you all this time? When you texted me telling me that I shouldn't come home, you were busy with him. Even the next morning when you told me how he was so sweet in... Nothing. Nothing happened between us. You know, I said that because I wanted you to feel that I'm satisfied. Because I know that's all you've always wanted. You've always wanted me to be satisfied. Honey, you made me understand that sex is not enough to keep a home. Rather love and care. And I love you so much. I do. I can never defile our home. Never for a pleasure that wouldn't even last up to five minutes. I can't. <sighs> wow. I don't know what to say. I am speechless. I am... You have just given me the shock of my life. I have nothing else to say but to say thank you. Thank you so much. You don't know what this means to me. My daughter, you have done well. I am very, very happy for both of you. Hey! You guys are too much. God, I really thank you for this. But I am still apologizing for attempting to put an asunder between you. Mama, it's okay. No, it's fine. It is fine. This is the best news of my life. This is the happiest moment for me because thank you. Thank you for accepting me just the way I am. Thank you for being a good woman, not just a good woman, but a faithful woman. Thank you for accepting me just the way I am, for accepting an imperfect me. Thank you. You know, I bless God every day for granting me my heart desire in you. Listen, I want to assure you that you're not imperfect from the angle you're seeing it from. All right? I love you so much. I love you too. And this baby in my womb, this is the more reason why I should love and stay with you forever. <laughs> I love this so much. <coughs> <laughs>